another. Stop the car. You Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Heather's craziest moments on Love After Lockup. So without further ado, we're going to get into it right now. I'm definitely a romantic. When I fall in love with someone, I just want to give them the whole world. I never had trouble meeting people. I just had trouble keeping them. So most of us already know exactly why Heather has trouble keeping relationships, but if this is your first time hearing about Heather, which I doubt it is. If you're watching this video, you probably already know who Heather is, but if this is your first time hearing about Heather, you're gonna find out in this video exactly why she has trouble keeping relationships. So Heather goes on to tell the story of how she met her current boyfriend who's incarcerated. His name is Dylan, and she met him at a party at his apartment. Apparently she was close friends with a friend of his, and Heather went to the restroom, and Dylan happened to be in the shower, which is kind of weird to me. If you're throwing a party, why would you be taking a shower while there's a bunch of people in your house? Um, especially people you might not know. Kind of weird. But anyways, I kind of have trouble believing that story. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about that. So you're going to pick up your man? Yeah. And Joliet, he's been in there for five years. Oh my God. So Heather goes on to tell us that Dylan is in for five years for selling ecstasy to an undercover cop and that she found out that he has actually been arrested multiple times and once he was about three months in, he asked Heather to marry him. I've been visiting Dylan in prison for the last five years, every Saturday and Sunday, because I love him and I feel like even- Bruh, not the butthole lips. No, we are not married. Dylan and I are already married in our minds. So Heather just rants about how Dylan is her soulmate. He speaks to her mind, body, and soul, and that he's been calling her his wife basically a few months after they met. <laughs> So Heather shows up to pick Dylan up and he's just talking about how he's so happy to be out and he thought it would be a scarier process and that he's got his beautiful woman by his side and a beautiful life ahead of them. And this is what Heather has to say. Let's put her in front. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> we could play role play on that later. I could be like, oh yeah, you naughty prisoner. You don't want to go back to prison? That's some handcuffs? Yeah. Damn it. Oh my god! <laughs> Get out of here. Ugh. So it's safe to say that Heather has always been obsessed with Dylan since she met him, and even to this day she still is. The next scene I want to talk about is the scene at Aunt Diane's house. This is Aunt Diane, Heather's late aunt, um, and Dylan was supposed to be staying at her house with Heather while he was on parole. So let's go ahead and watch that scene. Babe, I really want to lay down. I don't feel good. Well, I got to go home. I cannot have the aggravation. Oh, I know you can't have the aggravation here. So basically, Heather starts acting like a big baby because Dylan is talking to her Aunt Diane and her other Aunt Stacy about Heather and how she's such a great girl, but Heather thinks that he's over there just spending all of his time with them when in reality, he's getting comfortable with her family and getting to know them. Now, this just goes on to show you how jealous Heather can be. Instead of, you know, showing gratitude, she's talking in a way that I would never talk to any of my family members. Who out there talking about you, babe? I'm absolutely speechless. Can I do anything for you? I got share some time with my husband. I got you, baby. Ever in life. They would like, just once would be great. Please. All right. I mean, for crying out loud, she's jealous of her boyfriend talking to her elderly aunt. So it's the next day and Heather and Dylan are on the way to the DMV to get Dylan a driver's license and things are seeming to go good. Last night they were intimate together, they had a great rest of their night after the Aunt Diane fiasco and today things are looking up. That is until they show up to the DMV. Yay. But it might be too late to test. If it is, I'm going to be so mad. Not at you, at the fact that they don't do testing. 
So already Dylan has said one wrong thing to make Heather mad and here she goes already bitching and complaining. He just got out of prison and he's got an ID. I don't know if we need to tell them that part. And honestly, he's absolutely right. Why does she have to bring up the prison part? Into we the late. line because we were late. Because of makeup. You say it's my fault. Did he just joke it? No, it was not just because joking. of makeup. It wasn't because of makeup. Well, I don't know. So once again, Heather is pissed off for the tiniest, smallest, minute thing and decides to storm off and leave Dylan. And Heather's being completely irrational. Heather, hold on. Wait a second. Give me my keys, please. So Dylan ends up getting in the car with Heather and Aunt Diane calls and tells him that his parole officer is there at the house, which makes Heather even more mad. I might go back to prison my first day out. Can you yeah, give me, me two? Heather, slow the down. Slow down. When you leave prison, your first order of business is get to your parole site and check in with your parole officer. And now I'm panicking. Oh, okay, so this is actually the first day before they arrived at Aunt Diane's house. So they were on the way to Aunt Diane's house and the parole officer showed up and this made Heather angry for some reason. Um, I don't know why. But anyways, Dylan shows up, his parole officer's there, he checks in and Heather's saying how she's so scared he might go back to jail again and that she can't do this again. And it's like, well, you're the one who was late. You took all that time having him grab your ass and spraying stuff on him and biting his neck and you could have been on your way already. Dylan was in prison. He was so doting and so attentive and just so different. You know, after five years of waiting for him, he should take my side. And I feel like asking for more of Dylan's time and attention is not weird. Like, that's the expectation that was set. So at this moment in time, Heather is still pissed off that Dylan was there interacting with Aunt Diane and Aunt Stacy instead of in the room with Heather immediately having sex after he got home. And you cannot tell me otherwise. If you're gonna be jealous of me interacting with your 90-year-old aunt on oxygen, how are you gonna feel about it when I go to the gym or to get the mail? Okay, so then this was the moment that Aunt Diane called to tell Dylan about the parole officer being there. And shortly after, Heather gets mad and starts speeding off on the freeway. Okay. Thank you, Aunt Diane. Bye. See, and this is what I'm talking about. And it's that Heather, it, please. You're gonna me. Heather, okay. chill, all right? I need you to calm down before you even get started, all right? We're both stressed out right now. Can you give me a break? Can you give me one? I'm tripping. I might go back to prison my first day out. Can yeah, you give me, me a break? Two. Slow the car down. Heather. So Heather begins driving like a bat out of hell and Dylan is scared shitless that they're going to get pulled over and he's going to end up going back to jail. He multiple times asks Heather, please stop the car, but instead he ends up throwing the car in park and ends up getting out of the car to leave. Hurt. Heather, stop the car. You're stop the car. I'm telling you to stop. You're being a psycho. Sorry, I put the car in park. Give me the keys. Don't do this here. No. So it seems we found the reason that Heather has trouble keeping relationships. Heather acts out and if she doesn't get what she wants or if the person doesn't accept her acting out, she gets so angry and begins to act out even more. And in turn, the person who's with Heather can't handle this, so they end up leaving. Heather slowed down just enough for me to snatch the keys out of the ignition after I threw it in the park. You bitch! You bitch! We're in public with people around watching. I hate you! Give me my phone, put it through the crack and get out of my life. I have nowhere to go, I live with you. <laughs> Heather basically takes off on Dylan with no phone, no car, no nothing, just the camera crew to help him. So the camera crew basically allowed Dylan to use their phones or one of their phones to go and contact his mom to meet up with his mom and aunt at a restaurant and basically that's the end of Heather and Dylan. That was very quick. It took like two days. 
Anyways, you guys, those are, in my opinion, the craziest Heather moments on Love After Lockup. Let me know what you think down in the comments and what's your favorite crazy Heather moment from the show. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.